Do me a favor, don't hit on my line, don't play like on my pick cause I'm black in your shit. Hey my queens, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Deanna. I'm here with another wig show and tell and this one is by the Janet Collection. It is their premium Futura Fiber wig in the style Kiss Part Timber. Here's what it looks like on the model. It says you can put heat on this unit up 360 degrees. I got it in the color red velvet. Now, maybe the person was colorblind because clearly pink. But I'm just going to disregard that. Now, when I seen this on wig types, I was just like, what are they, what is this about? Um, the color is gorgeous. Because it's different from like the, the model, model, and free choice equal units that have been coming out they are more of a lighter pink this one is more almost like a hot pink it is a hot pink rather um and it's really really vibrant and uh, old Nicki Minaj-esque type color so it's really pretty though and but so I was drawn to get it just because the price was so cheap and I was like now if I can turn this wig into something wearable then I'm really, you know, wig slaying out here, okay? Because this right here, this right here, hot mess, okay? That It just looks like they plopped that wig on them poor girls' heads, and it's just, that ain't cute. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. There are no combs in this unit at all. There are just a... There are only adjustable straps in this unit. So if you are a person who likes combs, you guys know that I hate the combs. So if you do like combs, then you'll have to sew them in yourself. Or you can sew in clips. Those are like $2.99, maybe $3.99 at your local beauty supply store usually. Or you can get them on eBay as well. Um, now what I did with this unit, when I first looked at the part, it was horrid. It is a skin top part. You do get your dark roots, but it is a skin top part. And the only problem, I don't really have a problem with skin top parts because they're super easy to tweeze and pluck. But the only problem that I had with the part was this part right here is super thick. Like it's super hard to blend. So the only the only thing that I thought that was gonna look halfway decent and be able you know, uh, allow me to wear this out was to wear it as an extreme side part to where it's not as noticeable. To where as if you wear it like homegirl is on the stock car, anywhere towards this region or in the middle, it's going to look so noticeable and you're going to look a hot mess. So don't do it. When you get this wig, if you choose to purchase it, I highly suggest wearing it to the side like an extreme side part and wearing your hair out in the front now if my hair was straightened i would even take out a little bit of my hair to try to even cover the front portion of this but at this very moment it's still summertime and my hair is not cooperating so it is not straight at all so yeah but this is a really really pretty color the actual style of the unit is not bad at all the you know, the length is perfect. 
the curls are really bouncy and the density is believe it or not is really nice for i don't feel tracks or anything i am getting some shoo, i am getting some shedding though so it is quite a bit of shedding so you're gonna get that i feel like any colored unit that i've ever received ever has been shedding all over the place even my free trips Evelyn, Talia, all of them. They just shed all over the place. But, what can you do? I'm not going to super complain about them because I'm not paying that much money for it. Now, if this was some virgin hair and I spent four or $500 on it and, you know, and it shed all over the place, then it would be a problem. But this wig... Why she gotta be so loud? But anyway, um, this is really cute. I'm just adding some layers to the front because this is definitely how I will be wearing this wig because any other way is just not acceptable to me. To the middle, nowhere else but to the side. Yes, honey, yes. So yeah, I just laid my edges down with my even edge control, the colored edges in the color number two. So this is what it looks like. This is what the part is looking like. I tried my hardest, queens. I know y'all about to go in, but you know, I still think it's still wearable, especially once my hair gets to a place where I can actually straighten it and it'll stay straight. Let me cut this side a little bit. I need some new scissors. Okay. But yeah. This is pretty. This is pretty. Let me know what you guys think of this hair. Did I change y'all's mind at all about this hair? Because I know some of y'all wig wears probably seen this on the site and was like uh-uh no they didn't put this on the market but you know what it's decent and for the price i don't think it's horrible at all so yeah let me know what you guys think of this hair down below if you have any questions on any products that i use or anything like that leave it down below i will get back to you as soon as i can follow me on snapchat and instagram and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you queens in my next one. Deuces.